Your Excellencies, I am very privileged to be participating in this event and I'm very proud that this event is taking place in the constituency that I represent in the House of Commons. We are celebrating today Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the Kaide Azam. And Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the Kaide Azam, is responsible for the existence of Pakistan. Without him, the struggle and the campaign to create Pakistan might not have resulted in the creation of this great country which he was the first to lead. He was above all a Democrat. People can lead independence campaigns without leading democratic independence campaigns. And it is a matter of pride to me that the democracy which Muhammad Ali Jinnah created and perpetuated in Pakistan, he learned in the British House of Commons, sitting in the gallery, listening to debates, and finding out what democratic government could be. And there is no greater legacy that the Kaidiasm has left than the fact that we have now in Pakistan a secure parliamentary democracy. One of the very few secure parliamentary democracies in that region. So that we have witnessed a situation in which an elected democratic government of Pakistan prevailed for an entire parliament and has been succeeded in an election by another democratically elected government in Pakistan. And that is an example for the world. The Kaidiasm was admired far and away beyond the people who came to live in Pakistan or who live in Pakistan now. People who were not involved personally in the creation of Pakistan nevertheless almost worshipped the Kaidiasm. And if you read books about that period, if you read books about the creation of Pakistan, as I have been doing lately, you find that people who are totally unexpected regarded the Kaidiasm as practically a saint. They regarded him as a man above all who was responsible for the fact that true democracy existed and prevailed, and that it still prevails. And therefore, it is marvelous that we go on celebrating him because not only have we the pleasure of celebrating him, but we have the duty to celebrate him because of what he gave to the world. We're in a situation now in which democracy is being damaged. It's not under threat. The idea that somehow or other the terrible events that happened in Paris last week threaten democracy is a gross exaggeration of the implications of what happened in Paris. Like everybody else, I mourn the deaths of 17 innocent people in, in Paris last week. I mourn too and came to the Consulate General in order to do so. The murder of a far larger number of children in Peshawar for whom there was no national mourning and no international mourning and no great statements by Barack Obama for us to listen to his words which are never followed by actions. I mourn the killing last 
year of 3,000 innocent Palestinians in Gaza and the killing of Palestinians week after week in Gaza and the West Bank. I mourn the killing of 3,000 Pakistanis by American drones. We, of course, should, murder, uh, uh, should mourn the murder of innocents, as happened in Paris last week. But we should place them in perspective as well, and should not get into... We should not get into an air of hysteria all murder is bad. The poet John Dunn wrote, Every man's death diminishes me, and that is true. But the idea that somehow or other we've got to have this kind of reaction to a terrorist event which should never have taken place and whose consequences must be thought about does not mean <coughs> that somehow or other the killing, and I can say it perhaps as other people might not, the killing of white people is more important than the killing of others. And we must not get into a situation which was shown by the exploitation of the murders in, of, the, uh, of the supermarket in Paris last week that somehow the killing of Jews is more important than any other killing. All deaths by violence are wrong, and we must look at that and we must never fail to deal with that. And that too is a lesson of the Kaidiasm. And when Pakistan was created in 1947, on August the 14th, 1947, a few hours ahead of the creation of India, so that Pakistan got in first. Yeah. And that was what Qaeda Azam did as well. <laughs> the, the problem, the, uh, the, the issue of Kashmir was not solved. And the issue of Kashmir has not, be, not been solved today. And over there in Sranag Srinagar and Baramulla, we must think of the people in Kashmir who do not have the freedom to celebrate the, the democracy that Kaide Azam wanted to create for them as well as all other Pakistanis. And we must think too of the people in Palestine suppressed, oppressed, repressed by Israeli murderers and anti-democrats because Democracy should be for everybody. And that is the lesson of Kaidiasm. So my friends, in celebrating one of the greatest men in recent history, let us learn the lessons that he bequeathed to us. Freedom is for everybody. Parliamentary democracy is for everybody. And we must go on fighting until everybody gets it. Thank you. Thank you.